Hello my nectarines, Nona here and I'm back with another video. As mentioned in my previous video, we're going to be doing a quick, young, very unserious, very casual nail art series. I'm just going to come on here with some full cover tips on and we go straight into the nail art. In case you're wondering which tips I have on, these are the Los Angeles Instant Apex um, Tipex tips. <laughs> I've been really enjoying these, you guys. I've been wearing them a lot, a lot. Um, in case you're wondering what happened on my other hand, I burnt myself roasting some potatoes and it hurt so bad but you guys it's all healed and it's doing much better just in case you're wondering go happy roast the potatoes girl roast the potatoes <laughs> so the first step we're doing is applying some uh, sticky bond or bond or primer basically i had started by buffing the nail and i was like no i let me just let me just spare myself the nail dust and uh, let me just apply some primer or sticky bond i do have some air bubbles you guys this application was not perfect because i had um peel off base i needed these to pop off very quickly now i'm gonna go in with a layer of a milky white gel i saw this um trick from glammed beauty here on youtube where she applies a milky base base first and then she goes in with the nude so this is how the, the milky base is looking so far so beautiful and loving it and then now i'm going with a nude i initially went in with the rubber base but then i thought the nail is going to look too bulky so then i switched to this marvy beautiful nude from um born pretty i'll have it linked in the description box but i did bring it up in the screen so you guys can see it So this is how the color looks with one coat and this is how the color looks after two coats and not forgetting that i applied that nude base so it makes it look nice and even and it also just hides that like free edge of the nail how stunning are these tipex nails you guys i i initially didn't like them but now the shape is just everything um after curing for 60 seconds i am now removing the inhibition layer we're gonna go in with pigment powder so i only want them to stick to the french and not on the nude now it's time to do our french smile line i'm trying my best to not just fumble my way into doing this so i am marking how deep i want it to go and then i do the two lines coming from the side walls and this actually helps like i feel like i'm i'm faster and it's way better than when i'm just like figuring it out as i go and then obviously i use the brush from the bottle just to fill the non-important stuff and uh, once i am done I then use my liner brush to clean up and make sure that the line is nice and crisp. You have to have eaten a good breakfast when you're going to do Frenchies. You must not have coffee and you must have not gone out the night before. If, you ha if you're hungover and you haven't eaten and you had coffee, it's just a disaster. Like, it just doesn't work out. So I made sure to have ever toast and tea and I just felt strong. And then when I was doing the Frenchie, it went out perfectly. So <laughs> don't play with the Frenchie. You, you better come right and with a clear mind or you will fumble so bad, you guys. But anyway, I quickly did the rest of camera and I absolutely love how they came out. Now that our Frenchie is looking nice and proper and immaculate, it's time to do the pigment powders. You're going to need some fluffy, old, clean brushes and uh, it's time to tap in the pigment. Now, I've done this tutorial before on my TikTok and as a short here on YouTube. I get a lot of questions on how to get it right. So I decided let me make a longer video and show you guys exactly how um, you blend the pigment powders. The important thing is just not to load your brush with too much powder that's why you'll notice that i'm before i tap onto the nail i also just like rub the brush onto the paper towel releasing most of the pigment that way the colors can ombre into each other if you do not tap them off in the side you'll have a harsh line which makes it almost impossible to blend with 
the next color now when i usually do this design i usually do just a pink and a neon but no i decided to complicate my life this time around and do four colors four colors you guys four i decided i'm gonna ombre four wow 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 what a mission um i did not enjoy it but it ended up looking absolutely beautiful so i'm kind of glad that <laughs> i decided to do so I also just wanted to mention that uh, you kind of want to check with your lamp whether to cure the white gel for 30 seconds or for 60 seconds. Um, with my old lamp, I cured my gel for 60 seconds and I had a lot of tackiness to um, tap on the pigment powders. But I realized with my new lamp that um, 60 seconds, the gel was almost dry and I didn't have a lot of tackiness. So I would recommend just having two swatch sticks or little tips or whatever you swatch with. With, and then apply some white gel cure one for 60 cure one for 30 seconds and then tap on your powders just so you know um, the right amount of time to cure so that you can get the perfect color payoff i hope that makes sense um i also then decided to go off camera and tap on a little bit more pink to the nail and it just made the color pop so nice especially that orange transition look at how beautiful it looks like a sunset it looks so gorgeous and then i'm basically just using a cleaner brush with a little bit of acetone to clean along the sides three nails later and we have ourselves a messy messy mess <laughs> it got so messy i'm laughing at my hand just just because like <laughs> girl what happened but anyway i was trying to be organized so much you guys I, I struggled like when i tell you i struggled with this four cut i'm bringing these four colors wow it was a lot it was a lot um so i just decided to show you guys the thumb and the pinky one last time um, i'm starting with the purple and then the pink and then obviously the keys just to make sure that they are not touching if you look at my middle finger you can see there's like imperfection i gave up you guys i was like no like i i, I can't get it perfect i'm just gonna leave it and move on um and then sometimes i'll notice that there's a, like a little white like line oh it was just a lot it was a lot but anyway um i realized the quickest way for these colors that i'm using is to tap on the purple and the pink and then go to, at the free edge of the nail um tap on that neon green and then um cover it with the what do you call this one the pink one then it creates that beautiful ombre effect um obviously you can play around with different colors and uh, your own combos if you want to do a purple and a blue either one they always come out so beautiful you just have to be patient and take your time <laughs> and uh, be ready to create a mess because it's very messy Now I'm going to go and seal everything in with just some regular base coat. This is just going to protect all the hard work we have been doing. It also just helps with saturating that color and makes it nice and bright and it sinks into that pigment and it just makes it pop so, so beautifully. Now I do have to mention when you're doing this step, you have to be gentle. If you're applying too much pressure, you'll end up dragging that pigment powder. It'll get muddy. You'll have to wipe everything and start over again. You don't want to do that that so make sure that you float the base coat on especially over that pigment powder and yeah just you don't want to mess it up now i've been sitting at this spot you guys for hours like i needed to use the bathroom so bad but i was worried that i'm gonna smudge the pigment powders <laughs> so i needed to loo so bad i needed to go to the loo so bad oh my word and uh, i couldn't hold it anymore so i ran to the bathroom yep with a base coat on but thankfully i didn't smudge it like i i had to go child i had to go 
now it's time for my favorite step in this design which is the 3d swirls i'm going to be doing these with uh, my rhinestone glue um this one's from betty cora but i don't think their their amazon store is active anymore uh, but you can use any rhinestone glue at your disposal i just like squeezing mine onto my palette and i make sure to squeeze it into a blob like on one spot basically then it's easier for my liner brush to pick it up i wanted these 3d swirls to be thick and juicy and big so i'm doing two coats per swirl um, i'm applying that swirl and then i'm giving it a quick um, flash cure and then i'm going back in with another coat directly on top of that same one um, the trick here is just to make sure that it's sitting um, preferably at the end of your liner brush and it creates like a nice little blobby and then you press it down and release by lifting the brush slightly and tapping it onto the surface of the nail and then when you see that it's releasing you start dragging towards the free edge i find that this way works really really great and i did exactly the same for all the 3d swirls and uh, they turned out so beautifully by the way this is my husband's favorite nail design um whenever i did the tutorial for this my husband was like oh these are the most beautiful nails i've ever seen you should do a youtube video on it so when he saw me doing this he was like yes I love these nails. So there you go, babe. Because I know he's watching. There you go, babe. This sets for you. Love you. <laughs> After it's done with all the 3D swirlies, I went off camera and applied my nine wipe top coat. Now I'm just finishing everything off with some cuticle oil. I'm using the Essie on a roll cuticle oil. It is apricot scented. It smells so good, you guys, and it's so moisturizing, especially during the winter time. It's been my go-to. Uh, it's got this like it's giving me old school um, lip gloss vibes. It just applies so so well. As you can see, I just drench my hands and just moisturize as much as i can and you guys this is how the nail turned out yeah they're so pretty i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with the set i'm obsessed with the 3d swirls even though they're slightly going you know out of fashion no one does them anymore i'm still obsessed with them you guys i'm probably not going to do them again but i just wanted to be known that whoever what the nail tech was that came up with this design is eight like this oh such a beautiful design i love it so much i took so many videos of these nails in different lightings i'm just like so obsessed how they turned out they just look so juicy so summery they look delicious like at some point i wanted to just lick them they look like they taste sweet <laughs> um i just i'm so happy i'm so 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 happy i'm already feeling so inspired i cannot wait to create um the next video the next nail art so i'm really happy that um this idea of doing the nail art series is helping me already thank you for being here thank you for watching you're also helping me um so much i appreciate you guys so much and i love you guys a lot you guys know i love you you guys know this right you guys know it <laughs> if you've made it this far please like the video subscribe if you haven't and i'm gonna see you guys real 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 soon i'm gonna be turning these out this week sis is feeling excited i hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are bye guys